Yes, if you know this song, which is a beautiful one, by John Legend, All of Me. And you today will learn how to play the original version with all the four flats on your cello. So without further ado, with the celebration of Valentine's Day, let's learn how to play All of Me by John Legend on your cello. We begin today's lesson, of course, with the A flat major two octave scale. <laughs> And as you notice in the key signature, we have no open A, no open D. We can play an open G, but we don't play that low when we play this two octave scale. Make sure you know each of those positions. The extended fourth position, the lower third position. You will use a lot of the lower second position. And then of course, a little bit of the fifth position, which is traditional one, two, three. You will see me play with a one, three, four for a particular reason. But first, let's take a quick look at the bowing. So we want to make it as smooth as possible. So stuff like that. And sometimes you play separate. This down bow motion string cross is very nice. Let's move along to the chorus measure 32. Follow the bowings. Connect these two. 37 is three up bows. Slide up with the legato. And then you want three notes connected on the up, and then pull 45, same 47. And then we are here in measure 49. Same thing, continuing in measure 52. That's the most important part when it comes to the expression with the bow. Keep it nice and, of course, on the string when you are playing all these notes. And without further ado, Let's jump right into these fingerings. And to make life easier for us, I'm going to switch cellos to my electric cello that shows the positions. To begin with, let's look at the position color chart. We have a lot of the half position, the lower second position. You will see much of the fourth, some of the fifth, and of course, a lot of the lower third. Five string cello. So this is my C string. The double dots here are the end of the first position. The double dots here are the beginning of the fourth position. And the triple dots is the harmonic. Let's begin. We start on the G string. <laughs> Notice we are constantly extended in this entire piece because we don't have that D natural. Continuing. There's your A flat. So we are in the extended fourth position, then going to the lower second position. Continuing, measure 13. So as you see, we all play in the lower second position, then going back to the fourth position in measure 16. Jumping back to the D string. 
then lower second, end of 19. Back to fourth. Fifth position, one. Now I use a fourth finger. Traditional technique is to do a one, two, three in the fifth position right here, but you can do as you wish. And then shifting to the first appearance of our lower third position in the end of measure 25, so the pickup to measure 26. Lower second, back to lower third, 28, then half position. Back to lower third in measure 30, then here, lower second, back to lower third. And then we go right to the chorus, lower second to fourth position, shifting over, staying a lot in the fourth position, always extended because we have that A flat, that's that single dot between the double dots. In measure 42, we go to the F and then C, A flat, G, F. You can also do that in one, two, three, one. I use the three, four because it is more comfortable. Now without stopping from the chorus to the end, measure 32. Thank you for watching my video today on how to play All of Me, the original soundtrack version, on your cello. I really want to give a special thanks to our wonderful harp player. She is the daughter of one of our students and we worked super hard, both her, her harp teacher, and of course my student and me, on this arrangement. It is a wonderful love song and I hope you enjoy learning this on this weekend for St. Valentine's. If you learned something, leave a like and consider subscribing because I do this as often as I can. And share this with somebody who really is a big fan of John Legend. And for all of you out there that are continuing your journey of cello, don't get discouraged. Sometimes it can be difficult to make a good sound, but you will enjoy it in the end. So wherever you are in the world, thank you for sharing your time with me here on the channel as you continue along your own journey of music discovery.